YouTube, it's Felicia. Today I'm going to be showing you my August favorites. I have five different makeup items to show you this month, which is tiny compared to my other favorites videos. So I'm going to start off with this foundation that I actually bought when I was on vacation. It is from Neutrogena. It's the Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup Micro Clear Technology Blemish Treatment foundation. I am in the second shade which is Natural Ivory 20 and I have been absolutely loving this foundation. It hasn't been making my skin really oily which I like and I hope that it's been helping with my acne. That's kind of why I actually purchased this foundation because it said it's good for acne and it's good for oily skin and I have both. So I definitely recommend trying this foundation out. It's very lightweight and it blends in with my skin really nice, especially with a beauty blender or the Real Technique sponge. Every single day I've basically been wearing this little duo from Bare Minerals. It's in the shade The Top Shelf and I actually heard about this eyeshadow duo from Jessie James Decker. She did a makeup tutorial using it and she was saying how she loves these eyeshadows. So when I was in Ulta, I gave these two eyeshadows a shot and they are absolutely stunning. One of them is champagne and the other is a bronze gold, which is right up my alley and they really make my eyes pop when I wear them. And they're very nice and smooth in texture and velvety soft. I definitely recommend Bare Minerals. Next time I stop into Sephora or Ulta, I'm going to be looking at their other eyeshadow duos and they have quads too. So let me know if you have ever tried these eyeshadows because I'm interested in maybe purchasing another one. If you are just starting off with makeup and you're looking for a really great liquid eyeliner that's really easy to apply because some can be a little bit tougher than others, I definitely recommend the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. I've been absolutely loving this eyeliner. I received a sample like last year and it actually lasted me for about a year. So I went to the store and I picked up the full size. Basically with every single eyeshadow look that I've been doing, I've been flicking my eyeliner and this is the perfect one to do that. It is so precise. It has a brush tip applicator which makes the point very, very, very thin. So that's enough that I'm going to say about this eyeliner. Next moving on to the lip combo that I've been wearing almost every single day. And I actually have it on right now too. I call it My Lips But Better color and it kind of reminds me of the Kylie Jenner lip that she's been wearing. And it is just the Jordana Tawny Lip Liner. I really like this because it's very nice and smooth and it's retractable so you do not have to sharpen it. So I've been lining my lips with this and filling it in with this L'Oreal 519 lipstick. I really like the tube, how sleek it is. And this lipstick actually stays on for quite a long time too. And it doesn't dry out my lips. So I really like this L'Oreal lipstick. I haven't tried too many L'Oreal lip products, but this one is a keeper. So it's in the color Tender Berry 519. This will also be a great combo going into the fall season. I've also been collecting Alex Nani bracelets. I have three right now, but I just really love the sound that they make. It might be a little too distracting in this video, so I might not wear them every video, and it will probably get on my nerves when I'm trying to edit this video too. I'll just keep hearing the jingling. But um, I wanted to wear them for this video to show you guys. I have a Los Angeles charm, a initial F, and a Baltimore Orals charm and I've been wearing them and I just think they're really fun and people in my area have been wearing these lately. Um, I know that they've been out for a while but recently I've been seeing a lot of Marylanders wear them so I'm like hey I guess I have to jump on that bandwagon too. I told you guys that I didn't have too many beauty products this month but I'm going to be talking about some music that I've been listening to and some TV shows that I've been obsessed with. For TV shows, you guys know it already, Big Brother, I've been watching every single time it's been on TV and Zach is so hilarious, he got kicked off Big Brother, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. But by the time this video goes up, you will probably already know that if you watch Big Brother. Um, he was beginning to be one of my favorites, and I really wanted him to win. But it looks like Derek may be the winner. 
that's what it looks like to me. I really think that he's playing an awesome game, and I think that Derek's soon going to be the winner. And I can't believe that Frankie told the whole house that he was Ariana Grande's brother. So we'll see how that plays out because I know that a lot of people in the end will probably vote for Frankie to win just so he can donate his money to charity. So it's either Derek, Frankie, or Nicole. They're my three top picks that I think may win at the end. My other favorite show has been Married at First Sight. That show is just crazy. Like, I can't even imagine marrying somebody at the first sight, not knowing their name, not knowing anything about them, and just saying I do at the altar. Like, I can't even imagine that. <laughs> Jason and Courtney have to be my favorite couple. They are a really good match, but we'll see how that ends up as well. But the two other couples... I don't really think they're going to make it. Do you guys watch that show? Let me know what you think of the whole idea of Married at First Sight. For music, I have three songs that I've been playing basically on repeat on iTunes. And the first one is from Ariana Grande. And I really haven't listened to her all that much before Big Brother started. And then when Frankie came in the house and said that he was Ariana Grande's brother and all of that jazz then I started listening to her music and the song that I really like is Problem from her and it's been on the radio seriously non-stop so it's kind of embedded in my brain the other song that I've been listening to is also from Ariana Grande and it's Break Free and that music video recently came out and I just really like that song too so those two have been playing in my head over and over and over again. When I'm in the shower, when I'm doing my makeup, it just will not get out of my head. And the new Taylor Swift video recently came out too. And it is Shake It Off. And at first I didn't really like this song all that much but now I just keep randomly singing the lyrics so I think that one kind of grew on me too please let me know your favorites in the comments down below and I'll see you all very soon bye